boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about using tape diagrams, as we already know, but we're going to use tape diagrams where there's an unknown, and we're going to talk about how we can use a letter to represent the unknown in a problem. So we have two learning goals for today. Our first learning goal is I can use tape diagrams to solve multiplication and division problems where there is an unknown. So that's just an unknown piece of information that we're solving for. And our other learning goal to, for learning goal for today says, I can represent the unknown in a multiplication or division problem as a letter. So for example, five times four equals M. So M is representing that unknown product. Okay, all right, so let's get started with our application problem. So our question says, Thad sees seven beetles when he weeds his garden. Each beetle has six legs. How many legs are there on all seven beetles? So you're gonna draw and label a tape diagram to model this problem. Use the letter B for beetles, for the beetle's legs to represent the unknown. Okay, so you guys are it. Go ahead and pause the video, solve this problem using a tape diagram and the letter B to represent the beetle's legs. Okay, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure you pause if you still need more time. Otherwise, here's how I solved the application problem. So I know that I'm gonna use a tape diagram. I know that the total is going to be B because I don't know the total number of legs on seven beetles. So that's what the B is representing. I know that one beetle has six legs. So I'm going to skip count until I get to seven beetles. Well, actually I'm gonna put seven beetles on here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I can skip count by sixes until I get for all seven, and that is 42. So seven times six equals 42. B equals 42. So there are seven or 42 legs on seven beetles. Okay, so we're gonna write an equation to represent a tape diagram below and solve for the unknown. So when you're solving for the unknown, you have to label what the unknown is. So M in this example equals blank. So you have to solve and say M equals whatever it equals on your paper, okay? So go ahead and write an equation to represent that. Click play when you're ready to go over it together, friends. All right, friends, here's what I came up with. So there are six groups of seven. So that tells me that six times seven is our multiplication problem. And that equals M, which is our unknown. So M equals 42 because six times seven equals 42. Okay, awesome job. All right, so let's look at another one. We're gonna model the problem with a drawing and then write an equation using a letter to represent the unknown and solve for the unknown. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a problem. You come up with a tape diagram if you want to, and then um, you're gonna come up with an equation that has an unknown in it. So our first equation, or our first question says, each student gets four pencils. There are a total of 28 pencils. How many students are there? Hmm. Okay, so I would draw a tape diagram to help with that. There's 28 pencils, each student gets four, how do you figure that out? So there's an unknown as we're going through here. So you're gonna label your unknown and then you're also gonna solve for that unknown. Okay, so if you have P as your unknown, you would say P equals and then the number by the end of the problem, okay? All right, so you're it. Go ahead and write an equation with a letter that represents the unknown and then solve for the unknown. Okay, so click pause. Click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to click pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So my equation is 28 divided by four equals P because there's 24 total pencils, four uh, pencils for each student, and P is going to represent the number of students who get pencils. So here's my tape diagram. I know that there are 28 pencils. I know that each student gets four, so all of these inside my tape diagram are represented by P. So now I'm going to skip count by fours until I get to 28. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 
So as I go through, I can count the number of students, which is each one of those boxes, and I know that I have seven. So P equals seven. Okay, so there are seven students who got pencils. All right, nice job, friends, being able to use tape diagrams today and representing the unknown with letters. So awesome job with that. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.